Welcome and good evening. It's our real pleasure to be with you this windy evening here in Brisbane. Thank you, darling. Uh, tonight's presentation is a team training. So I know that there are a few people that are quite new on this call, as there are every single week. So literally people that are, are, are looking at getting started. So I'm always going to, um, you know, um, hopefully cover a little bit of the foundational stuff as well as some of the more advanced stuff. But um, if you're not sure why you're here, tonight's presentation is about a toolkit. So how do, how do we get ourselves ready and how are we well equipped in order to develop an ASEA business and ASEA organization? Now you might not even be sure if that's what you wanna do, but at least hopefully this presentation is going to give you a little bit of an overview of what it takes to build this kind of a business and um and how it is that uh you might be able to achieve a level of success um because i don't know some of you i guess i would like to share a little bit about my background um, i don't have a medical background i did study health science at university but then got sidetracked having a million children and just doing life and um you know really really happy with the journey i've had i've had a number of businesses i've always been self-employed and i uh, really appreciated the freedom but as a self-employed person uh, would know, uh, sometimes with that freedom, the price you pay is that you, you um, don't have the financial security. I guess I was always looking for some kind of an opportunity, something that I might be able to engage with that would uh, give me the freedom that I, that, I, that I want in my life so I can be um, available for my family and, and you know, live the life I wanna live but also something that would give me an income. And um, I was always, I guess, um, curious because I knew that what I wanted, um, I didn't know what industry I wanted to go in, but what I really wanted, dreamed of, was the chance to be a pioneer on something, the chance to be at the right place at the right time, to maybe bring something to market that was groundbreaking. I mean, isn't that the business you know, entrepreneurial uh, spirit uh, is the chance to participate in something that, you know, you look back in five years, 10 years and you go, by golly, that was a good decision. I'm so glad I went with that. Um, I already feel that way about ASEA, but it wasn't um, through a business uh, um, connection that I engaged with ASEA at all. It was through a health situation, not mine, but a really close friend of mine, a fellow called Danny Doyle, he um, uh, got sick in 2014 with what he was told um, was um, an incredibly aggressive type of um, illness, multiplying cells, rogue cells through his whole body. I don't want to name the diseases, but um, after two years of chemotherapy, he was absolutely spent. And doctors said to him, uh, there's nothing we can do for you, mate. You need to go home and be with your family. Um, it was shocking. I remember looking at him and thinking, how is this happening? This man is healthy. He's been fit. He's been an athlete. He's done everything right. I and mean, you probably know someone like that. We just think, how is, how is this even happening? And uh, Dan just had this spirit. He was like, I'm, I'm going to find something. I, I'm going to find something. I'm going to live. And then came a phone call from a friend of ours in the US about a product that did not yet exist even in this country. And he said, uh, Dan, there's, this, there's these molecules called redox signaling molecules. There's a team, a laboratory in the US that have apparently been able to put into a bottle the trigger for, the, for healing in your cells. Now, um, you know, it, it sounded, I think, we were all a little bit out of hope at that point. I remember being cautious thinking, gosh, I hope they're not taking him for a ride. You know, um, and if, if you're dealing with a health condition and you don't know how good this product is yet, I understand totally if you have some hesitations because unfortunately the world out there, there's a lot of things that say they're, uh, they're something else, there's something amazing and, and they don't turn out to be. So we, we grow really skeptical. But it became obvious in those first few months of watching Dan's transition that this was legitimate. You know, I started studying these redox signaling molecules that before my eyes were defying the doctors and saved my friend's life. What I saw in him changed the course of my life because I started sharing these molecules with other people that I knew were sick and I started seeing similarly um, jaw-dropping results. And... Um, 
as a concerned citizen, let's say, as a moral obligation, I started sharing this. Not because it was a business, again, it was just because I couldn't stop talking about these breakthrough technology that was in this product. It dawned on me that that is exactly what the dream is of the, of the entrepreneur. And my ex-husband saw that before I did. And he started working with Danny to try and bring this product here to Australia and to other countries around the world. And I saw very quickly the results they were getting. The incomes they were making at the same time as changing people's lives is something I really wanted to be involved in. And so I think the, for those of you that are exploring this and you're not even sure what you're in, my recommendation is firstly to start getting, um, to, to develop a really open mind that what if this was real? What if this really is a breakthrough? What if this is something that can truly change the way we do medicine, we do longevity, we do beauty and anti-aging? Because we must stay open to the idea that there is evolution in every, in every industry, in communications, in transportation, obviously in medicine and health. What if you were at the right place at the right time, finding out about something that's going to transform this industry. After two and a half years working with this company, I know with every single cell, excuse the pun of my body, that this has the capacity and will surely change the industry completely. So for me, the very first step of being ready for business is understanding that this is a business. And as a business owner, I must be professional. I think that is one of the very first mistakes that people do when they come to this industry um, because it costs them 40 US dollars to get involved. So they it, it, treat it like a hobby but expect it to pay like a business. It's one of the first mistakes. Um, the industry of direct sales or network marketing has had a bit of a um, you know, up and down reputation because of the misrepresentation of some companies and some individuals. But as a whole, let me tell you, the industry is strong. Last year, um, there was, it represented $36.2 billion worth of incomes earned in the USA um, of the uh, hundred of the women that made over $100,000 per year last year, 80%, over 80% of them were in direct sales, network marketing. This is an industry that is growing even more because people are looking at different models. They're sick of the nine to five. They want more lifestyle. They want more flexibility. People are venturing out. You know, maybe people in our grandparents and, parent, uh, and parents' generations we're very much focused on, you know, get an education, get a job. That's the only thing you can do. Uh, you know, I see children now being more entrepreneurial um, now. You know, they just have that mind. We're all a little bit more open. The ASEA company did not um, start off as a business. They started off as a health product. They declined a significant offer by a pharmaceutical company and they realized that the best way to spread the news about this product and get it to more people was not to reinvent the wheel, but to piggyback on what was already happening. At the time, people were using the product and they were telling other people about it. But you and I have the chance to do that in a way that is more than organic and to actually be professionals. As professionals, the very first thing we must have, if this is a business for you, is a serious goal and a purpose. And this goal or your purpose with what you want to do with a seer should be personal and it should be powerful and it should give you focus. Um, there are a lot of different levels of engagement with a seer and it doesn't mean that one is right or one is wrong, but you, you do need to decide which level of engagement you want to take. You might just be happy to be a product user. That's cool. You might be uh, um, totally happy to be a product user and tell you know, people you kind of stumble uh, across. Or you might want to uh, take a more serious path and actually build a global organization, a six-figure income, which can be comfortably done inside a year. I know that because I did that myself. And at the time, I was a single mum with four boys running a business. You're going to have to go hard, but so you should. And so you do in any business that you'd like to develop a six-figure income. You know, I say to people, this, this is, um, do not be deluded. This is not a get rich quick, whatever scheme. This is just a uh, get rich faster than what I was previously doing. But you still have to work hard. It's a business like any other. You have to sow before you reap. 
when people go in and out of focus with any business um, or, or goal, like let's say it's a weight loss goal or it's a business goal, if you find yourself really struggling to get focused, um, then the reason you're struggling to be focused is because you have not got clarity of purpose. When you haven't really got a reason that drives you, um, you'll struggle staying, you know, uh, it holding your attention. So this is part of the toolkit. Actually, this is the main part of your toolkit, understanding why the heck you do this. Because let me tell you right now, it's not going to be convenient all the time. For a period of time, you'll probably still have to juggle your previous job or your previous, uh, uh, whatever you're currently doing. You may have to juggle, um, you know, family life. I, I had to make the decision to take the kids out of sport. And, and, and you know what? It's been worthwhile because we've set up a business that's allowed us now bigger and better choices. But um, ask the right questions. You know, the questions aren't, well, how will I do this? And it depends if it's conven convenient. And how am I going to make it work? Those questions make absolutely no difference. The questions you should be asking is why? Do I have a reason to do this? What's the reason why I would want to get out of my comfort zone to develop a six-figure income in the next uh, 12 months to two years? Um, because if you haven't got a clear why, then those how questions, you know, save, save your energy, don't bother because they're not going to be relevant. Identify why you're going to do this as the first part of your toolkit. Um, I'm going to breeze through this very quickly, but just so we know, um, the first part um, after understanding the goal is we, you must understand how to talk about what you have on your hands. You don't need to be a scientist. You not, don't need to be a doctor. Actually, it helps if you uh, are not <laughs> because you can complicate it for the, for, for the civilian. So just go in simple. But um, the basic message, and you can be uh, a week old in this company in order to learn this, the basic message of how I explain this is as simple as this. We are all made of cells, we're just a big bunch of cells, and not all cells are healthy at the same time. Our cells are constantly performing these actions of protecting, repairing, and replacing. And that's something that they do, not just when we get sick, but it's an action that happens every single second of the day. We didn't know how it used to happen, but in 1998, three Italian scientists identified that the reason we heal is thanks to these signaling molecules called redox signaling molecules. Now, the bad news is that our levels of these molecules are rapidly declining and it's happening even faster because of the um, aging process and the toxicity in the environment. And uh, it's been a significant problem causing so many issues and, Ill and leading to illness. However, we have a solution in our hands, a SEA. This laboratory in Utah is the very first and only to have developed a technology, these molecules, outside the body in a consumable form. This offers us a whole new frontier of possibilities, making this product incredibly advanced, patented and unique, completely new and ahead of the competition because there's nothing like it on the market right now. This does not compete with a vitamin, with the mineral, um, with protein powders. Every single time I'm talking to somebody in the health industry, they're telling me, oh yes, it's, uh, I have amazing vitamins, I have amazing minerals, I have amazing antioxidants. And they are fantastic. If you're, if you already deal in, in health products, um, it's fantastic. There are so many awesome products out there, but none of them, absolutely none of them, are redox signaling molecules or can do the job of the redox signaling molecules. So this goes straight to the source of the cell and allows you to use all those materials inside the cell. It's like you provide the wood, you provide the wood, that's all the nutrients, minerals, all the materials, but redox is the spark that lights the fire. Now, some people are just piled up, filled with multivitamins, but nothing is happening in their body. Redox signaling allows your body to do its work. So I want you to understand, um, if you are serious about building this business, first thing I really want you to understand about this product is not just how to explain it, but for you to go out there with the uh, conviction that this isn't just an, another cool water or a special um, new vitamin. Absolutely not. We are truly at a new frontier. We have the opportunity to bring this new technology to global markets all around the world. 
that is an incredible opportunity. That in itself represents why people from all industries are flocking to play a role in this moment in time. So what is your level of engagement? If you understand what a SEA is and what it does in the body, congratulations if you are using the product. That puts you at a significant advantage for your health and longevity. But beyond that, where do you want to take this? It really is a, such an individual thing. Um, for me, when I got started, honestly, a hundred bucks a week made a difference. An additional hundred, two hundred dollars a week just meant that I could do some things with my children. You know, it was awesome because I was able to achieve that in just a few weeks. But the level that I really set my eyes on was this diamond level. Now, these are just uh, levels of, of business size. If you don't know how the compensation plan works, there are great videos to explain it. But just uh, capture the, um, the essence of what it, what it is to build this business. In summary, all we are doing is generating volume. Like any business, whether you're selling coffees, pizzas, shoes, or tickets to a movie, everything, every bit of commerce, every business runs on volume. The more volume you turn over, the more as the business owner you're going to get paid. A SEA allows us as independent business owners to basically run and create our own distribution channels. That means that, let's say, in three years, if you've just started today, in three years, there could be thousands of people around the world using this product, some of which you'll never know because that's how network marketing works. It gives you leverage. But because of people that you've connected into your business and who they've connected and they've connected and they've connected, there'll be people all around the world drinking their molecules, ordering the gel, sharing it with other people, building incomes, loving the product, and there will come a point where it won't matter what you do. You could be fast asleep um, on a beach and the income on the Friday when the bell goes um, when the bell goes ding and the business week is over, you will be paid on that volume. There's eight different ways of getting paid, but really the concept is simple. The more volume you lead to a seer, the more you will profit share. Very simple. The great news for any of you who have had businesses is that you're not in charge of inventory, you're not in charge of marketing, you don't have to pay staff, you don't have to pay for the crazy uh, um, uh, infrastructure, digital infrastructure. You don't have to negotiate with permits. All you have to do is literally do the talking to the users and to the developers, connecting with people. And you then get to dial in your income. I had a phone call from a friend of mine last night who, self, uh, who works for a company, she's employed, and she's thinking about becoming self-employed. She said to me, oh, it's just so frightening for me to branch out on my own. And um, I said to her, which is funny for me to think about it, I said, you know what, I, I would find frightening to go back to a job, honestly, because I feel like a job offers very little security. Um, I have somebody in my family that was recently fired, even though they were the top person, um, you know, incredibly competent at their job, but something small happened and they lost their job. How many people do you know have been made redundant from, through no fault of their own? Um, so this, for me, there's not much security in a job these days. And also somebody else is telling you um, what you're allowed to earn and somebody else is telling you how much free time you're allowed to have. For me, I love looking at this table. This is not um, projections. This is income statements from last year. So you can dial it in, but statistically that 15,000 um, in US dollars, so it's around 21,000 Australian dollars per month income, per month, the average time to that income is 21 months. So, um, you know, I don't know, I, I personally didn't have any other way of going to create uh, a $20,000 a month income in the next 21 months. And that's the real reason why I went from being a product user to a business builder. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a few scripts. And as part of this, uh, when I was thinking about the toolkit, I thought, you know, we are communicators. We are communicators. Our, what's, what's my role? Um, people say, oh, I'm not very good at sales. I, I think, great, because if you're good at sales, you're gonna to have to unlearn some stuff. 
sales doesn't work here, okay? We are educators. We have a new technology. Our role is to make it simple, explain it easily to people, transmit the information, because they will make a decision there if it's for them or if it's not for them. Um, and if you've transmitted the information correctly, you'll find that most people will, um, will, will want this because it will make sense. We, there's not a single person in the world that doesn't need these molecules. So let's get good at uh, being able to be communicators of a seer. As I said, everything else in the business is taken care of. Your toolkit, my toolkit is the words that we're going to use in order to connect with other people. So what is a seer? I'm going to go through a series of scripts, maybe take screenshots or I can share these later on in a template, um, but we need to be able to explain things easily. To me, a seer, um, when I explain it, this is in a hundred words, it's the first and only product in the world that contains redox signaling molecules. Uh, which are otherwise only found inside our cells. Now, these little molecules are the biological messengers responsible for the process of cell protection, repair, and regeneration. Unfortunately, our levels of this molecule decline, but now for the first time, we're allowed to supplement. These are basically those five points that I went through. But um, if you don't like those five points, that's cool, but you can borrow them if you like, you can make them your own, but you must find an easy way to explain what a seer is. You must also find an easy way as part of your toolkit to very quickly respond to the question, what do you do? That comes up so many times during the day if you're out there talking to people. And um, this is my answer when people say, what do you do? I'll say, I work with a US-based medical biotech um, in a very exciting and new field of health science called redox signaling. I, I usually ask them, have you heard of it? No, I haven't. Well, look, we're bringing to market a significant new technology. Uh, it's an important breakthrough in the world of medicine, longevity and beauty. And um, my team and I are interested in connecting with individuals in key markets um, who can appreciate this moment in time and the opportunity to, um, to participate as we bring it to more and more people. Um, so that's how I explain it, and, but I might turn an explanation like that into an invitation. Um, I might then lead to, um, if you're interested, I can connect you, I can shoot you a few links so you can find out a little bit more about it, or I can even connect you with somebody from the team who can fill you in with more detail. You know, that's the kind of thing you can say if you're very new. Now, I very rarely get to explain this without people asking for more information. You know, sometimes I don't want to have the conversation to tell the truth. Like, you, you know, you're at the hairdresser or you're just um, going through customs. You know, <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to have the conversation. But if people ask me what I do and I say, I work for a US-based medical biotech, we've got a breakthrough for longevity in medicine. Uh, we're bringing it to market. You know, I'm here because I'm looking for good people to work with. I guarantee you, you say that 10 times. 80% um, of the time, they'll ask you for more information. Oh, really? How does that work? What is it? Where can I look it up? Is there a website? You know, so make sure that you have a really good response to what do you do? Um, the phone script. Um, okay, so now the next part of the toolkit is being well versed in how you offer this technology to people. Now, there are two different things that you'll reach out to people about. Firstly, the health opportunity, and secondly, the business opportunity. How do you know which one to, you, to talk about? Well, uh, my guideline is if someone's sick, talk to them about health, you know, talk to them about getting better. Um, um, I don't know, you know, I feel like if someone's really struggling with a disease, I just wouldn't feel comfortable coming up to them and talking to them about the business. I firstly want them to see the results of what this product can do for them, and the business um, aspect will be a natural evolution. Um, but this is how I connect with someone if they're not well. Um, you can do this by text. You can do this easily, um, you know, on the phone. But I'd be saying, hi, Ben, look, I hope you don't mind me reaching out to you, but I was really saddened to hear about your struggle with arthritis or whatever. Um, and I wanted to share something that I think could, could be of good help. I've recently come across a medical biotech. Um, they're in the US and they're specialists in a new field called redox signaling. Um, this lab in Utah have been the first and only in the world to replicate these molecules that trigger healing in our cells. And I've seen other people um, also with arthritis having pretty good results. I might shoot them a, a, um, 
a screenshot of one of the testimonials from the ASEA Healthy Self website. And then I'll ask them, um, you know, with your permission, I'd love to send you some information about it or um, may I connect you with a specialist who can explain it, how it all works in more detail. Notice that at the end of every script, I'm giving you the option to pass on the conversation upline. It doesn't matter which team you're part of, you, um, there are people in there that can have the conversation. There are people that can go ahead and fill in people with the information. So if you're looking at this brand new and you're thinking, oh, I don't know how I, I'd explain redox signaling and I don't want people to ask me questions because I'm just going to drown. You really um, don't have to. It's actually better if you don't talk about it because how am I going to talk to a friend of mine um, she hasn't, if she hasn't ever seen me have anything to do in the health industry and now suddenly I'm going to tell her about her health. It just doesn't make sense, you know. Until you feel more comfortable, you really should rely on this upline team. There's some of us that have been working with these products now for a number of years and we've absorbed a lot, used a lot, we've worked closely um, with, with people in the medical field, we've listened to webinars by the, um, the medical team, and um, you know, we've, we've got a little bit of experience of how to use this and how to talk about it. So make sure you take advantage of that. That is also part of your toolkit, leading people to a specialist. Okay, I'm not going to go through this in detail, but I will go through the highlighted words. This is an extended conversation on the phone, okay? And I wanted to put it in here because uh, not so that you use it all together at the same time. Um, I'm putting it in here so that you can pick out words that you like. So you can pick out phrases that you like. But really, um, I'm just going to say it like I would say it when I call someone. Let's say that I'm calling Alan. I'd say, Alan, how are you? Look, I know it's been a while since we last connected. Um, geez, we haven't seen each other since um, high school. <laughs> Alan and I went to high school together. Um, but uh, I've come across something really significant. I thought of you immediately. My friend, um, Julie, is a specialist in a really new progressive field of cell health. Um, her team and her company have developed a heavily patented breakthrough tech. Um, it, look, in short, that this company has been able to replicate the molecule that triggers for cell repair. They're not looking for investors. They're fully capitalised. But the reason I'm reaching out to you is because they're wanting to expand right now into Toowoomba. And uh, they're looking for individuals with a level of influence in, um, in business or in health. And as I said, I thought of you immediately. I'd love to connect you with Julie. She's really lovely. Um, she can tell you more detail how this product works, but more importantly, how you might be able to play a part in bringing it to market there in Toowoomba. Are you happy if I connect you both? Okay, so... A couple of things I want to say just about that before I move on. When I started, I had the phone script in front of me like that and I would highlight some key phrases and I would jump around it depending on how it came out naturally and what they were saying. But I wasn't necessarily reading through it, as you saw, but I'm picking out words that feel good. But it's important to have something in front of you, otherwise you can really stumble. A couple of key things that um, I want to point out What's the person thinking about when you're calling them? Firstly, they're thinking, why is she calling me? Right? Why is she calling me? So I give them a reason. I thought of you immediately because we're expanding into Toowoomba. And he's in Toowoomba. So he goes, oh, okay, okay. So then he can dismiss that question in his head. He's like, oh, that's why she's calling me because she, she knows I'm in Toowoomba. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the kingpin here in Toowoomba. Of course she's got to call me. Right? So they can dismiss that question because I answer it. The reason I'm calling you. The other question they're asking is, what do you want? You know, so I also tell them what we don't want. We're not looking for investors. My aim is, I tell it really clearly. I say those words. My aim is, because in his head he's gone, oh, good, she's going to tell me what her aim is. Because he's wondering, what, what's the aim of this phone call? So I verbalize it. One of the mistakes I see rookies make is they babble a lot of information, but they don't specifically say, why they thought of that person or what their aim is in the phone call. They transmit a lot of information, but the other person is sitting on the other end going, yeah, but what do you want? What do you want? So be very clear. My aim is to connect with individuals of influence that can look at the info and want to play a role with bringing it to market. 
or my aim is to connect with people that are open to making additional income streams. And then the final thing, close with an action point. Like, are you happy if I connect you both? Are you happy if I send you more information? Sometimes we go through a beautiful phone call, but we don't take it anywhere. Now, this isn't a, um, um, you know, this isn't written in cement. You say what you want. Um, this isn't a strategy. We're not trying to, you know, convince anyone or anything. As I said, you are imparting information, you're an educator, and you're identifying what you're looking for, because that is what you're looking for. I'm gonna put this in a, in a, I'm definitely not reading this, but I'm gonna put this in a template for everybody to have. This is the kind of email that I send afterwards as a follow-up email um, with a summary of everything that we've discussed. And I go through the key points. It was a great pleasure to speak with you today. As I mentioned, the company I work with, in short, our team have done this. The reason I want to talk to you is this. Here's some information and I'll reach out to you next week. So my email usually is a recap of what we said on the phone because a lot of the time what you said on the phone just went over their head because they were thinking, who is this girl again? So I like to repeat myself in my follow-up email. but less and less I am sending emails and I'll explain why shortly. If you must send an email, make sure you're covering it very briefly and you're going through the same points so there's familiarity to the information and once again that you explain what the point of the email is as in um, I will reach out to you next week, review the information, I will decide if you want to participate yes or no. Okay so here's the outline of how I do things Again, not written in cement. I know some people love getting into their social media. They have, um, you know, amazing knowledge about how to how to connect with people on LinkedIn or Facebook, or they, um, uh, you know, maybe they're doctors with um, people coming through their clinics or chiropractors. So everybody that they're bringing on, um, that they're talking to the product with, is a patient. Um, this is just uh, my civilian's way of connecting with people and bringing them across. First touch is just that first, um, that first uh, kind of conversation that, you know, it can be something that happens out and about. So, for example, you, you know, I sat down today with a lady that Malcolm spoke to at a store and they um she's from the philippines so malcolm said wow you know i'm actually expanding my business into the philippines i'd like to um give you a call tell you a little bit more about it at a more suitable time and so she's given him the phone number so the next step is going to be to get onto a phone call now we've already gone through the script of a phone call but that's where you let them know what you're doing um what the breakthrough is what the opportunity is as brief as you can and what they can get out of it. Because at the end of the day, that's the only thing we really care about, all of us, is how is this relevant for me? Make sure that in the, in the um, need to get all the information out, you're actually making it clear uh, to them what they can get out of it. Okay, so that's, um, that's the next part, getting onto a phone call or a conversation. And I have to say, it doesn't have to be a voice conversation. I know young people have conversations fully by text. I mean, that frustrates the living daylights out of me. But I know you can have a back and forth by text. That's fine too. Then I would go from that first initial conversation through to introductory information. Um, and after that, you'll be following with more detailed information. I think one of the mistakes we make early on is that from the very first conversation we have, from the very first time that we go, oh, I work with a medical biotech, we've got a breakthrough technology. Oh, I'd like more info, sure. We jump to step number three. And that's like, you know, you've just met somebody that you might be interested in to date, and now you're already offering to move in. It's too quick, you know, and it's not fair on them because they're not going to, why would they invest in reading a 17 page email with 76 links? if you haven't told them exactly how this is relevant to them. So I'm encouraging you guys to break it up. I find this works better. Have a quick conversation first up. Then I go to short information. I usually just text it through. You know why? Because people, a lot of people don't check their emails. With emails, they can get lost in spam. 
if the text, if you're texting through a couple of links, you know they're in their, the, the links are in their phone and whether they've had the chance to read them while the kettle's boiling or whilst the kid's taking a bath or whilst they're on the toilet, come on, let's be real, you know that they've probably had two to five minutes in the next two days to look at the links you've sent them. So I like to, from first touch and from that first conversation, send very short uh, links, very, uh, you know, one or two little links that I can send to their phone that I know they're going to look at. And then you jump onto the follow up, and the follow up, excuse me, <coughs> can just be <coughs> when they need um, to follow up is really just to establish if they have any level of interest from those quick little links that you sent. Now, why would we want to try and push people into a webinar or into a three way call if they look at a two minute um, link and they have no interest? Let's let them go on their merry way. They're not who you're looking for. Don't bother people. It's not who you're looking for. But if somebody looks at a two minute video about redox, I know where I would be. I'd be like, well, yeah, I want to know more. What is this? Then I can move them through to more detailed information, such as a webinar, a meeting face to face, or a three way call with somebody in my upline. So that for me is a sequence. And of course, then you're going to get them across to a decision. Either way is fine. Uh, one great way to um, have people jump off the fence is to ask them, um, you know, I'd say, Alan, do you see your interest here being more as um, on the product, as a user, consumer, or could you see yourself interested in the commercial possibilities here? And just see which direction they're going towards and, um, you know, lead them through. Uh, today, when I met with this lady, um, she was fantastic um, and, uh, you know, we got on really well. I could see that she's a perfect fit. She could see this business is a perfect fit um, and we made a decision straight away to get going. Um, I've always got my laptop on hand and I said, you know what, we can set you up right now and let's get you started. Let's start working together. I can't wait. And um, so make sure that you're not waiting for people to make a decision. They're not sure what the step is. You know what the step is. Ask them, invite them, either way is fine. Uh, people always ask me, you know, what links do you send out? Well, you know, pick your favourites, but these are my favourites. Um, again, I'm happy to send them out, but um, these are all short videos. What is a SIA? A SIA, uh, the breakthrough, just on a, on a page. Um, doctors review the RSM supplement, um, Redox Revolution page that I put together, the six reasons, new Dr Silverman video, the brochure, um, ASEA, the company, one of their pages is really great. The genesis of ASEA, which is lovely, a uh, showcase about the company and ASEA transformational technology. Now, I have these on my phone, just on my notes. I know that some people have way better systems, like Sean has an incredible filing system on his phone that I'm yet to figure out. But um, I just have these in a list on my um on my notes and you know what I do is depending on who I'm talking to I'll go and I'll pick two go, oh, okay she'd love the what is a seer and I'll send her the genesis because we were talking about the company I just pick two and send them the other thing I try if I can to mix up something that's written with something that's a video because some people don't like watching videos some people like to read an article instead actually the other one that I add is that honey colony one, it's a brilliant one. If somebody who, who has it on hand can hang it on the, on the chat there. Um, but yeah, I just pick two and get them sent on. Um, and this is the last thing I'd like to just close with is um, we must all have a daily method of operation. You know, we must have a method of running our own global business. Um, there, really isn't, um, there really isn't one way to climb this mountain. You know, there are a variety of ways that all lead to the summit, whatever the summit is for you. This is a business uh, in which you are the CEO, you know, legitimately. I know there's people around the world that are heavily focused into sports. Some are really heavily focused on um, helping people who are sick. Some are growing big empires on the anti-aging and beauty. You decide how you want to do it. Some people have taken seven years to get to a place. Some people have taken 14 weeks to get to the same place. You decide how you want to operate, but decide how you're going to operate. 
pick something, make a decision about how you're going to operate every day. Do not leave this to haphazard, you know, I'll do what I can when I can and see what happens because I'll tell you already what's going to happen is without structure and without having a purpose and without having clear goals and targets for your week, this will just fall into the unimportant, too busy, you know, when I can kind of basket and you're going to get the results that merit that kind of input. If this is a serious business for you, you need to have daily activity targets for yourself, doesn't matter what they are, it, um, and you need to have goals for your week, for your month, and projections for your year and for your next year. Sit down with somebody who has uh, traveled the road a little bit further than you have. Sit down and say, you know what, in six months I wanna be here, in a year I wanna be here, um, in two years, I want to be here and make sure that you set up a plan, a strategy and stick to it. This is no different to any achievement, whether you want to lose weight, whether you want to win a gold medal, it's going to take a daily method of operation. Now, how do you know if you're going to stay consistent? How do you know if you're on track if you don't even have targets for your day? Now, for me, um, I make a list the night before of the, the important things that I need to achieve and then a secondary list of all the other things that would be great if I got to. But the lifeblood, the growth in our business is going to come from connecting with people, communicating with people, everything else, making your PowerPoints pretty, watching a billion webinars, becoming an expert on Redox, all of that can be secondary. Your business grows on how well you become a professional at sharing and connecting. So I hope this conversation has been helpful in terms of the tools um, to share and connect with people. Um, I'm really happy now to pass on to you guys for some questions. If anybody has some questions, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself. Okay, so we have here some questions. Christina, can you please paste your source on the chat box so we could copy them? I don't even know what that means. What does it mean by my source? Does anybody know? I mean, it's just my, it's just my PowerPoint on my computer. Um, I don't have it like on a Google. Um, I don't know if I've misunderstood that question, Stephen, if you could clarify, maybe I, I'd be really happy to help. Um, but I just have, what I've just gone through, I just wrote it wrote it today it's on a PowerPoint. Um, does anybody have any questions about connecting or comments or anything they'd like to chat about in the last couple of minutes? Thanks, Izzy. No? Okay, well, everybody seems to be a little bit quiet. If possible, can you show the slide? of the flow chart to describe what it is. What do I say? Yeah, okay. Let me just go through that really quickly then. Um, so what I explain, what I go through is this one here. When people say, what is a SEER? How does it work? It doesn't matter if it's a three-way phone call or if it's somebody that I've just met, I'll say, well, we're made of cells. Um, you know, you and I have trillions and trillions of cells inside our body. And unfortunately, not all cells are healthy at the same time. Our body's constantly doing this role of protecting, repairing, and replacing cells. It does it every second of the day. We didn't really know how it was happening, but in 1998, three scientists discovered that these redox signaling molecules made inside our cells are responsible for all those processes that the cell does to keep us healthy. The sad news is that our levels are declining uh, they decline anyway as we age, but now with the environment and how toxic it is, they're declining even faster. And uh, 19,000 studies out there show us the links between this decline and really scary illnesses like cancer and diabetes and Parkinson. Um, unfortunately, um, we've not been able to do anything about this decline in redox signaling molecules until now. ASEA, the company that I work with, is the first and only company in the world to have been able to stabilize these molecules into a consumable form, um, making them available. It's a complete new frontier, and my team and I are working to get this out to more people that need to know about it. 
obviously it's an enormous commercial opportunity to bring something to market that's never been seen before that has the capacity to change everything and I'm looking for good people here in Toowoomba to connect to help us to achieve that so you know that's um like you can you know I'm sorry if that bored you but you can see how repetitive it is you know you just I say that all day long and it's um you know you should be you should have a way of explaining it that you wake up in the middle of the night and someone goes what do you do what's redox and you've got quick answers so just rehearse it you know tell your dog about it tell your kids about it and make yourself really comfortable